White Fang 2 Myth of the White Wolf is a Disney film from 1994. It's directed by Ken Olin, written by David Fallon, and it stars Scott Berstow as Henry. We also have Charmaine Craig as Lily, and Ethan Hawke is in it. Not extensively, but he is in it. And I wasn't necessarily looking forward to this because I didn't love the first film. It wasn't terrible, but I wasn't completely enamoured of it. And I'm trying to watch every Disney feature film, so I gave it a go. And while I can say it's fine, there's nothing wrong with it, there's nothing specific that I didn't like necessarily, I also wouldn't say that I enjoyed it very much. Sometime after the previous film, White Fang is now in the care of Henry. And Henry and Fang help out this Alaskan native tribe and basically save them from having their land destroyed. And I don't want to go into too much more detail about that. I don't want to give away the specifics, but it's an interesting enough narrative. It works well enough. The pacing is fine. No issues with the pacing. And it's a relatively long film. It's about an hour and 45 minutes, which is, it's not horrendously long, but it's it's got a good length to it. But I feel like it was probably the right length, actually, to tell the story. I have no issues with the pacing. The characters are fine as well. I think Henry is a a likeable protagonist. Fang is absolutely adorable, as always. I did like that about the first film. And the other characters, well-written, really good performances, no complaints there, very well filmed, really nice locations. We have a lot of gorgeous, gorgeous scenery to look at. According to IMDb, it was filmed in quite a few places in British Columbia, including Squamish, Maple Ridge, Hope, Pitt Meadows, and Whistler. I don't think I've heard of any of those, but they are really brilliant place names. Visually, it is quite satisfying. The narrative is okay, but it didn't really speak to me personally. I didn't personally find it to be the most engaging, but I do think that that's a personal preference thing rather than anything wrong with the film. I would like to know what you think of it if you've seen it. Honestly, I probably never would have watched it had I not been trying to watch every Disney feature film. Am I glad I had a reason to watch it? I'm neither glad nor not glad. I didn't hate it. It wasn't a terrible experience, but I didn't come away from it feeling particularly satisfied. Do I recommend it? If you liked the first film, by all means, I'd say check it out. It's not It's not bad. There's nothing about it that didn't work. But if you didn't care for the first film, I don't think this is probably worth checking out. And that may seem obvious, but sometimes sequels occasionally can be better than the first film. I don't think this is better or worse. I feel like it's pretty much the same. At least I felt the same. So I didn't mind it. It's not terrible, but I didn't love it. I, I think that's more about my personal preferences. But if it sounds like it would appeal to you, if you like the first film, then maybe White Fang 2 is worth checking out.